Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my very first grocery haul on my channel. And today I went to a new grocery store in a neighboring town and it's called Food King and there were so many great prices that I just really wanted to share with you everything that I found and at the end of the video I'll go ahead and tell you how much I spent. So I'm really excited to tell you uh, the amount I spent and but that's not until the end so you have to watch all the way. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pan and show you the massive amount of things. Uh, it takes up my entire kitchen table and underneath it. I guess we'll just start there. I got three waters. Um, they were under two dollars each. And let me see. Let's go over here. So we've got some sausage and then this big pack of chicken breasts. Price there. So some of these will have a price on it. This big giant value pack of ground beef. That's a lot. <laughs> and then uh, this is a pork loin. Figured that would be really good to use in the slow cooker. You can't go wrong with putting a pork loin in a slow cooker. Big 10 pound bag of potatoes. Got some vegetable oil. And this is the, uh, the store brand is called Shore Shine. Um, I've never had it before, so we're going to see what these Shore Shine products, how they taste. We've got um, a couple of things of sausage, Polish sausage and hot smoked sausage. It's a, a brand that we've seen before in the regular store, so there's some Black Forest ham, and then here's another of the Shore Shine. We've got extra sharp cheddar and mozzarella, so definitely interested to see how those taste and three cans of this uh, chili with beans because the hubby likes his chili to have beans in it and these big giant cans of stewed tomatoes got two of those and then two crushed tomatoes I do like to make my own tomato sauce but why not these were a good price so I got let's see chunky vegetable of the hunt zesty and spicy I've never tried that four cheese and mushroom so that's good to just have you know in the pantry whenever you're just like I give up and they had this I've never seen this brand before uh, value time value without an E interesting um, they were a really good price like 27 cents or something each and there was a limit of seven on those. So I got a combination of green beans and then some sweet peas and corn. Uh, of course, wine. <laughs> and we got our Diet Coke. The Diet Coke was only like a dollar something. That's a pretty good price. Uh, I gotta have some fresh vegetables and um, we're starting to eat cleanly after a little bit of vacationing from eating healthy. So. Lots of spinach, two different kinds of bagged lettuce. I mean, you gotta have it. And then green onions. I love those green onions. And here's another value time. This is peanut butter. I uh, almost got the Peter Pan, but this was cheaper and I didn't have a coupon for the Peter Pan. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, bananas for the baby, because he loves them. And then we have some red seedless grapes. These Rainier cherries were only a dollar a pound. That's crazy. Um, sure Shine whole dill pickles. Interested to see how that tastes. And then I am a sucker for spicy brown mustard. And then they also had honey mustard and Dijon mustard in the Sure Shine. Sure Fine. Oh, it's a Sure Fine. I can't even read it, you guys. Okay. So, Sure Fine. Yeah. Um, and I'm interested to see how those taste as well. So, you know, it was a really good price. And then the value time, they have light ranch, trying to be healthy. And then Italian, got a bag of apples. And we have our, um, tostada shells. And two loaves of bread. This one got smushed. And that's kind of sad because they were only 80 cents each. And it's like, you know, but it, it's less than half. So I will find a way to live with that. I'll live with myself and live with that. And then I've never heard of this brand of ice cream before, but there's called Cowbell. 
And we got sea salt caramel and Neapolitan, which is my favorite, because it has three flavors in one. So I gotta get those in the freezer pretty soon. And then, this was like a dollar something, this big thing of downy. It's in, obviously, a different language. Uh, I think that's, I think that's Spanish, uh, which is fine. And, but I think it is, oh, there's some English there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Good. So, I'm pretty sure that's the fabric softener, and I like the way it smelled. And I never splurge on fabric softener. So, that was the haul. Everything that... Everything I got, so I'm gonna get some of these things in the freezer where they belong, so they don't melt. And I'll be right back with the total, and you can just go ahead and start taking your guess on how much all of that stuff costs. Good luck. All right, guys, everything is stored away in its proper place, which is really important if you've got uh, ice cream. Don't want that to melt because that's like a huge waste. Um, so I have my receipt right here for Food King and my total for all of the things I showed you was $87.41. Now the thing with Food King is that they, um, the way I read it is that they charge you um, what they, they call cost. So it's not like big marked up things. They, they've got it at cost and then they charge you for I guess their services because there is a 10% charge that they add on at the register. So that was $8.74, which isn't very much. So, I mean, kudos to them. I like that idea better because then I know how much I'm paying the store, I guess. And then uh, the tax was 97 cents. So my total altogether with the 10% charge was $97.12. And that is probably one of the most amazing non-couponing shopping trips I've ever been on. I mean, I got a lot of things and a lot of it is going to be stuff that lasts a long time because it's just pantry items that just, you know, get stored away or um, already have the, the ground beef in the freezer. So I'm not going to use that right away. And we're going to cook the chicken tonight because that's what we wanted. So, I mean, all in all, that's a... a really good trip. So I, again, if you have a Food King near you, go check it out. Uh, it's definitely worth the little bit of drive. It was about 30 minutes to get there from where I live. And then we got lost coming back. So it was more than 30 minutes coming back, but whatever. Now we know where to go. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Let me know down in the comments if you like videos like this, the haul videos. This is only my first one. So if you want to see more, uh, give it a thumbs up or a like or whatever it's called on the YouTube and leave a comment to let me know. And if you've been to Food King, leave a comment. Till next time, uh, thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for a future video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.